Alrighty, this third video is going to be level two and level three balancing equations. So the more challenging of the ones, but we still follow the same rules. Please check back to the previous video if you need some help with that. All right, so we have Na plus H2O gives us NaOH plus H2. So under the yield sign, I'm going to draw my tally for my different elements. So I have Na, I have H, and I have O. On the left side, I have one Na, I have two H's and one O. On the right hand side, I have one Na, I have one O, and be careful, I have H in two spots. So I have H plus H2. So that means I have three total H's on the left, or on the right hand side. Alrighty, switch your colors. So first we want to balance our sodiums, Na, Na. All right, I got one of those. Now, hydrogens, I have two on the left, and I have three on the right. So you might be thinking, okay, two and three, I can do that, that means I need six. Wait a minute, hydrogen is over here and hydrogen is over here, okay? Hydrogen on the left-hand side can only be multiple of twos. So I can have two, I can have four, I can have six, and we want our balanced equations to have the lowest amount of coefficients that they possibly can. All right, so if I can get away with making this a four by putting a two out in front, that might be better than going all the way up to six. All right, so if I put a two in front of H2O, that's gonna change my number of hydrogens and oxygens on the left-hand side. So that means I'm going to have two oxygens on the left. How do I make four on the right? Well, if I put a two out here, it's gonna be two times two, which is four plus one. So let's put a two out in front of the NaOH. That's going to change the numbers of everything. It's going to make two Na's, it's going to make two O's, and two times one is two plus another two. There you go. There's my four on each side. Okay, so one more time. Two H's plus another two gives me four. Two plus two is four. So is everything all balanced out? Ah, I've got to go back and change my Na right here. All right, so that's going to give us two over here, and now we are balanced out. Another possibility is if you had your Na plus your H2O, and you have NaOH plus H2. If you want to make sure that you have the same number of H's on each side, can you make this side get to three? The answer, surprisingly, is yes. What times two is three? Or three divided by two is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, my bad. Hold on. I put it in the wrong spot. Okay. We can change this one right here to come down to two, and we can put a half in front of the H2. All right, and then everything is even. We have one sodium on the left, one sodium on the right. We have two H2s. We have H plus half of an H2, so that's one plus one, giving us two on the right-hand side. And then we have one oxygen and one oxygen. So sorry if I got that confusing for you right there. Here is our answer, okay? So if we take a look at this, all right, the other option is Na plus H2O make NaOH plus half of an H2. So you'll notice that 2, 2, 2, 1, this is an implied 1 is exactly double one, one, one half. All right, so you can use halves or um, 0.5 intervals for our Brinkelhoffians, for our diatomics.
All right, and the reason for that is that you can evenly take an H2 right here in half. So if I have H bonded to H, I can take half of that and it's going to be okay. All right, I cannot, like I showed you in the other boo boo that I made, right? I can't take half of a water molecule. Which way are you going to cut it in half? That's not going to cut something, an atom in half, and do some nuclear damage. I can't do it that way. I can't do it that way, or this way, or this way. So I can't use um, this half or a 0.5 for anybody other than the diatomics. Okay? Hopefully that cleared that up. We'll show you uh, with another one of these. All right, so here we have our C3H8 plus O2. Make CO2 plus H2O. This is our combustion of our propane, like what you see in a gas grill. If you see um, CHs and Os, you'll see something very cool here in a moment. All right, we have three carbons. We have eight oxygens, hydrogens, and we have two oxygens. Then we have one carbon. We have two plus one, giving us three oxygens. And then we have two H2O. So you'll see CHO, CHO. Okay, that's the order they go in the alphabet. CO2 and H2O is always a product of our combustion reactions. It's always one, two, three to start off with. Okay, so that's the cool part. So if you have three hydro, uh, three carbons, I need to put a three out in front of here. That will change my carbons and my oxygens. So that's going to be three here, and three times two is six, plus one more, giving me seven on the right-hand side. All right, now and I have my hydrogens. Here is eight. Here there are two. So 8 divided by 2, I need a 4 over here. So that means I'm going to change my oxygens again. So this is 4 times 2, which is 8. That's even. And now I have 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 4, giving me 10 on the right-hand side. I'll show that again. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 1 is 4. 6 plus 4 gives us 10. So what should I put in front of the O2 here? 10 divided by 2 is 5. And that gives me an even amount on each side. All right, and that is our combustion of propane. Okay, C3H8 plus 5O2 gives us 3 CO2s and 4 H2Os. This, whoops. Okay, this is the combustion of octane. This is what's inside your gasoline, C8H18. Remember, 8 octa? All right, so again, we have our CHO. So I have 8 carbons, 18 hydrogens, 2 oxygens. I have 1 carbon. I have 2 hydrogens and 3 oxygens. All right, switch your colors. So I need eight carbons on the right-hand side. So I'm going to put eight over here. That means I'm going to have eight here. Eight times two is 16, plus another one is 17. I have 18 hydrogens on the left. All right, I have two on the right. So I'm going to put a nine there. And that's going to change this to 18. Now count up your oxygens. 18 times 2 is 16, plus 9 times 1, another 9, gives me 25. So what is the common multiple between 2 and 25? Well, I can get to 25 if I put a decimal right here. So that is going to be 12.5. 12.5 times 2 gives me 25. If you are allergic to that, you can also put 25 halves, literally the easiest way you can do it. Or if you are really allergic to fractions, you can just find their common multiple. And their common multiple would be 
50. So you would have to multiply this side by 25. And then for CO2 and H2O, you would then have to double everything else. So you would have two C8H18s plus 25O2s make 16 CO2s, and then we have 18 H2Os. Okay? So I don't care which one you use. Some teachers are more particular than the other. This is the lowest ratio. This is the lowest whole number ratio. Either is okay. All right. So the next video will be our level three.